our first recipe I'm going to show you how to make rabbit burgers. Here's the meat that I prepared by taking all the sinew off and then mincing. You can use a traditional hand mincer or you can use one of these small um, mini choppers. It does the job just as well. To that I need to add some belly pork. This has been minced as well. Rabbits are very lean meat so it does need the um, fat content that the pork gives it. To the meat, I'm going to add some chopped onion to give it a bit of flavour. I'm also going to add some chopped apple. I'm using eating apples, they give a nice sweet flavour. Chop these nice and finely. After I've added the apple and the onion, I'm going to add some herbs. You can add any herbs that you have available. Today I'm going to be using some fresh sage. Chop these finely down the length of the leaves and then just across to get some nice tiny pieces. All this now needs to be added to the minced rabbit and the minced pork. Next thing to add is some salt and pepper. And then give it a jolly good mix up. You can use a spoon or your hands. You need to form them into little patties. Press it together and use your hands to make patties. Don't make them too thick, although they do take an awful long time to cook. They're going to take about three to four minutes to cook on each side make them nice and golden brown and to make sure they're cooked all the way through. Gently place them into the pan. Don't overcrowd the pan otherwise it will lose too much temperature and the burgers won't cook properly. And we've had a couple of minutes on one side, turn them over, onto the other side. They do need three or four minutes on each side. Turn them again, as you can see they're starting to go nice and golden brown. You need to make sure they are cooked all the way through. Bunny burgers, delicious. Another way to serve uh, rabbit burgers is um, as a starter or a light lunch. I'm going to heat up some olive oil this time. It does need to be olive oil. It's, uh, it's very nice to eat. Then I'm going to cut some black pudding into some cubes. Fry that in the olive oil and add some pine nuts so they become nice and toasted and the black pudding becomes nice and crispy. Make sure the oil is hot. The way to check that is to drop a small cube in. If it starts sizzling immediately, it's hot enough. Add all the black pudding. Give it a stir. 
stir around, start pushing up. Add a sprinkling of pine nuts. over the olive oil with the crispy black pudding and the toasted pine nuts. And for final flourish, a drizzle of olive oil over the salad. Delicious lunch. Mm -hmm.